Alright, so today we're going to talk about a few different vocabulary words. Um, we're going to make some cuts on the chop saw, and also we're going to introduce the band saw. Um, our vocabulary words are miter, okay, um, square, and nominal size. Let's start with nominal size because I mentioned it before. The wood we're using is a 1x6. One would reason that it's 1 inch thick by 6 inches wide, but actually it is only five and a little less than five and a half by three quarters, okay? Nominal means in name only. So a two by four is not two inches by four inches. It's actually inch and a half by three and a half inches. The reason for that is because the wood comes out as rough cut. When they smooth it out, they take off a, a quarter inch basically to give a smooth board. They also take off the edges to make it square, okay? Our next term we'll talk about is square. Square means 90 degrees, okay? If I look at the end of this board right here, this is just a, a tri-square. If I look at that, that does not line up. That board is not square. So when they cut this board, it was not straight. So you always need to make sure whatever boards you're working with are square. Square is just 90 degrees. If I were to measure this angle right here, that would be a right angle square so so nominal size and square and finally the last thing we'll talk about is mitre or angle this is an angle right here and this is an angle right here the angle that we're, we're going to be concerned about today on the chop side is a 25 degree angle so first of all I said this was a compound mitre saw meaning it can cut more than one angle at once uh, mitre meaning angle compound meaning more than one Right now it's at zero degrees or square, a 90 degree cut. I'm going to show you how to change the angle. 25 degrees is the angle we want. So what I'm going to do is, watch this, you over here on this, right here. All right, what I do is I push in, I turn, I put my thumb on this black handle and now I can change the angle to 25. I release. And now the angle is set at 25 degrees. You're going to be making two angled cuts. They both will be 25 degrees. This angled cut you can do by yourself. I line up my, my line, my cut. I keep it tight against the table and fence and make my cut. The other cut is a wing person cut. Megan will be helping me out. I don't always be your wing person, meaning I'll be always the one holding the board. And Megan and I will line this up. You see how we work together? For this back cut, we're going to work together. Now, once I'm lined up, we look at Megan. Alright, you can see this angle right here, it's really important these two line up, so when our chair sits, it's going to be perfect right here. Alright, now we're going to go to the bandsaw and talk about how to cut out this arc on the bandsaw. Alright, so we're at the bandsaw, um, we're going to talk about some bandsaw safety and how to effectively cut this arc, okay? Um, this is an arced cut. Now the rules for the bandsaw once again are right up here. Um, do not operate without training. Keep guard a quarter inch above work. Have good hand position. Keep fingers out of circle. This is the sacred circle right here. Um, watch out for the surge forward. If blade comes off, unplug the machine. Get me. Uh, make relief when cutting cuts when cutting arcs. Always wear safety glasses. Uh, make sure your long hair jewelry is secured. And make sure the area around the, the bandsaw is clean. Okay. First things first, you want to turn on the vacuum with this. If you turn on the vacuum, we're just going to open this up right here, and it's going to help suck up a lot of the dust. Next thing we have to adjust the guard. There's two guards on this. This guard right here, which I can loosen right here and move over here. The next guard is this guard right here. 
To move that guard, what you have to do is you have to loosen this black knob, lower it down, and I, I want it a quarter inch above my work, or about a finger. Okay, I go ahead and tighten it down like so. Okay, I'm gonna put my other guard in place like so. Tighten it down. Right now, I really can't get in there and touch the blade. Um, with making arc cuts, I need to make relief cuts at high points and low points. So to make this cut, I need to make a relief cut right here and right here and the relief cut will allow the wood to fall out when I cut it. So, I turn it on. I pull out slowly. Okay. I made two relief cuts there. Now, it's really important that you line up the blade with the line. If I start like this, I can't really make a straight cut. Should I move that? That's fine. Okay. It's gotta be there anyway. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and line up the blade with the line. And just very slowly follow the line. See what that relief cut allows that wood to fall out of there? Now, I want you to notice where my hand is. My hand is away from the blade. This hand is over here, nothing near the blade, out of the, out of the circle. Next, I'm gonna cut this arc right here, and I'm just gonna basically line up like this, my fingers away from the blade. Just like that, I've got a couple nice arcs. I can sand this with the, the, the disc sander to make it smooth. I'm ready to go on to my next step. So, um, today, uh, what we gotta do? Number one, we need to cut our angles on our back legs. Also, if you get a chance, uh, maybe get in line and, and cut the arc on the bandsaw. Also, cut this back arc. Um, you also need to be updating your notes. Um, and don't forget about, about the assignment I sent you on Gaggle. This is the Gaggle login. Gaggle.net slash login slash isd100.gaggle.net. If you do not log into that, your username and password will not work. Okay? So yesterday we had some problems with that, but today we won't because you're going to use the right username and password. Um, to, use, to do a Microsoft Office uh, Word document, uh, you're just going to use Word. Um, remember to keep up with your notes. Um, also, make your measurements. Okay? Uh, today, we're going to have to sign some kind of cleanup list. And remember, every day cleanup is going to be at uh, 150. Alright? So, let's get to 